What is Rn? The notation Rn refers to the collection of ordered lists of n real numbers, and we can call the ordered list n tuples. Looking at the notation below, Rn is equal to the collection of ordered lists x sub one through x sub n, which again we can call n tuples, where x sub j is a real number for j equals one through n. To get a better understanding of this, let's consider R1, R2, and R3. R, or R1, is equal to the collection of x sub one, where x sub one is a real number. This means that R1 is the set of all real numbers. Geometrically, this would be all of the points on the number line. I've shown four of those points here on the right. And we can also just call R1, R. R2 is equal to the collection of ordered pairs, or two tuples, x sub one comma x sub two, where x sub j is a real number for j equals one and two. This means that R2 is the set of all possible ordered pairs of real numbers. Geometrically, this would be all of the points on the coordinate plane. And again, I've shown a small sample of four points on the coordinate plane, where each point is represented by an ordered pair, x sub one comma x sub two, or commonly known as x comma y. R3 is equal to the collection of ordered triples, or three tuples, in the form of x sub one comma x sub two comma x sub three, where again x sub j is a real number, now for j equals one, two, and three. This means that R3 is a set of all possible ordered triples, or again three tuples. Geometrically, this would be all of the points in 3D. And I've shown two points in 3D here on the right. So again, more generally, Rn is equal to the collection of ordered lists of n real numbers, which can also be called n tuples, which are x sub one through x sub n, where x sub j is a real number, now for j equals one through n. So you might be asking, how does this relate to vectors, since you're taking linear algebra? We can use angle brackets or matrices to represent vectors as n tuples or ordered lists. In matrix form, a vector can be a one by n row matrix or an n by one column matrix. So if we consider a vector u that has two components, we can write the vector using angle brackets, a row matrix or column matrix. Because vector u has two components, vector u is in R2, and the set of all vectors using all possible real numbered two tuples or ordered pairs makes up R2. Notice vector v has three components, which again can be written using angle brackets, a row matrix or column matrix, because vector v has three components, vector v is in R3. The set of all possible vectors using all possible real numbered three tuples makes up R3. And then more generally, notice vector w has n components, again written in three possible forms. Because vector w has n components, vector w is in Rn, the set of all possible vectors using all possible real numbered n tuples makes up Rn. I hope you found this helpful.